favourite, but the team used to be run has been eclipsed at Haydock, haven't they? The French Furs is three to one, Rambo Flyer nine to one, Master Beveled nine to one, Masado twelve to one, judged to be the best turned out. Well done, Shirley Vickery, Masado twelve to one, Bring Sweets at twenty to one, the outsider. Way for this uh, Potemps fighting fifth, and where does the early pace come from? Well. This is a surprise. You expect the French first to go out, and uh, he wants to go, doesn't he? The horse throwing his head about on the right, but it's going to be Master Beveled who leads at the first. Just pops over at this Barton in the striped jacket in third place. So they sort themselves out, and the tempo is quite uh, pedestrian as they come down towards flight number two of the nine they jump, over which it was Master Beveled, who was uh, fifth in this race a few years ago when Star Rage won has the edge here, Master Bevel, Grand Campaigner. Two on the inside, Rambo Flyer, and then uh, we have behind that one, Bring Sweets, and then the French Furs. And then Barton and Masado are just the back markers as they make their way past the stands and out into the country, and it's now Norwegian runner, Scandinavian Rambo Flyer that has the edge here. Two Master Bevel and Bring Sweets and Barton taking one stride to everybody else's two. Masado on the outside, the French first. Just goes to show you, expect that to make the running in its last as they swing away down towards flight number three. Just one flight on this stretch of the triangular track here at Newcastle. And as they head away from the stands, it's going to be Rambo Fly that just has the edge. A bit more of a championship grade two pace now. On the outside is Master Bell would look further left and the big white face, that's Barton left of him as we look at them, is Masada and they cross flight number three with the French furs behind Bring Sweets. So it's Rambo Fly with the advantage. Master Bevwood sits in second, the winner of uh, five over hurdles. And then Barton, the big horse on the outside, lobbing along nicely. Masado is wide of Bring Sweets and the red jacket, the French furs. So they come shortly towards the halfway point in this uh, Potemps fighting fifth. And as they come down to it, there's going to be a line of uh, three with possibly Bring Sweets spearheading the field here to Master Bevelwood and Rambo Fly, who hurdled well. Barton impressive on the outside, bowling along in great style for the Tim Easterby yard. The back marker is the French Furs as they cross the next, over which Rambo Fly rather dived at it, but still has pace there with Bring Sweets just uh, spearheading the pack. Master Bevel Barton on the outside, being pushed along is Masado, having to give weight in these conditions, not looking at all uh, part of this action here, as they come past the halfway point and meet rising ground, climbing out of the back straight with the diminutive four-year-old Bring Sweets on the inside of Barton, who's coming very wide on the track, but that will give uh, Tony Dobbin the advantage of the stands rail, imperative here on heavy ground in the home straight. You can expect uh, Tony to make a beeline on Barton as they uh, turn for home in this Potemps fighting fifth with Bring Sweet still the advantage to Barton in second place. What a magnificent stride. The French first is stretching out a willing neck. Rambo Flyer is beaten, so they start the turn in as they come down towards uh, the third from home. And it's Barton with this uh, big stride lobbing into a willing lead here going on to Bring Sweets in second. The French first has got that stands rail. Looks as if the Norwegian horse Rambo Flyer is going to be pulled up as Barton pops over that. Now, we heard on the morning line this morning that uh, Tony Dobbin was saying that this horse would improve for the run, and here comes the French first in the red jacket trying to close, uh, but it's all systems go on him as Barton Springheel takes that. Two in second place, we have the French first. He's annihilating the field with one to jump, and it's a power display by Barton coming down towards the final flight in the Potemps fighting fifth. He takes it well and goes on. The French first was awkward in second place and tying up and could be bring sweets for the forecast but as he race up towards the line it's Barton so majestic Barton strolls away in the colors of Stan Clark ridden by Tony Dobbin trained by Tim Easterby the winner of this Potemps fighting fifth to the French first who comes home in second and then bring sweets his third and Master Bevel brushed aside and so the giant horse has won this, a 13 to 8 on favourite, back over two miles, but he saw it out very well. It's a treble here for Tony Dobbin on the day, but he'll be mighty pleased that he's got this one under the belt. Barton is now 8 from 8 over hurdles. And clearly that's just the answer. Any slight injury, give the horse the time off. It's now only a 7-year-old. 
Everything to go for is pricked at the line. 13 to 8 on favourite, written by Tony Dobbin. Second was number six, the French Furs, 3 to 1. Those tactics didn't work. Third, number four, Bring Sweets, 20 to 1, 6.